Hey everybody, my name's Chris, this is Taylor Welding, and I'm not here to show you my prettiest welds, I'm here to show you how it goes down. T-joint, throw it up there, know what to do, weld it. Things happen, right? Well, in this video, I tried to make it get a little too hot, and it did. We don't have any undercut, but I'm just gonna kinda walk you through it, um, just as it happens. You know, this is life, real welding, you know? So, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. Let's go. Okay, everybody, we're gonna go uphill with 332 Excalibur 7018. We're gonna put one quick one in it right here, one quick beat up. We're gonna brush it off, and we're gonna put another one right on top of that one. 86 amps, 85 amps. We're using the stubby rod saver, Excalibur rods, and a fully welding lens. this one and we're gonna have to really hesitate on the side come over here and stop come back and stop that is plenty of well for a quarter inch plate what you're going to see happen is it's going to get too hot that's the number one thing I see happen to people starting welding is they let it get too hot and start to puke out on it. I'm trying to show you this in this video how that works and what happens and how to beat it okay so, that's well. Be hitting this with a slag axe. Uh, hit a file. Right, zero undercut. Uh, it starts. It's starting to get a little. Starting to get a little crown on it here. We're still okay. Let's finish this weld and see if we can make it get a little bit hotter. Because I really want you to see it puke out. Thank you. 
But Chris, you just had a little bit further to go. I just had a little bit further to go and I could have been done. But it was just going to get worse. Knock the slag off of this just to look at it, kind of see what we're. Right there. Come on. There we go. All right, now, it's starting to crown on me, okay? I'm gonna go turn it down just a little bit, because all the heat, I'll get my camera to act right. All of this heat has come up, and now it has made this very, very hot. Best thing to do is wait. But I know you guys in school and trying to learn how to weld do not want to wait, you want to just weld. So you're gonna have to turn your machine, okay? Turn it down, go cool the plate off, do whatever you have to do. That's how you know when you're a little bit too hot is you'll have buckshot. There it is right there. I'm gonna brush this off and talk about it. Sometimes you can hold your wire wheel on that little piece of buckshot and it'll just kind of work it off there. All right, everybody, that's a big fat weld, way too big for a 332, really. But I want to try to focus on hesitating on the side, hesitating on the side. Restarts, no porosity, no undercut, okay? Have an awesome day. Later.